Hello friends, in our previous video, we have already discussed about the topic inductive proximity sensor, okay? In the video, we mainly we have discussed about the uh, thickness measurement by the uh, eddy current sensor and in that topic, I have already covered the concept how to measure inductive uh, the proximity by this sensor. The principle is uh, very easy. Basically here this is the coil, we apply AC signal source in the uh, probe of the coil and uh, that will generate uh, the blue shaped electromagnetic field and uh, if some metallic object is kept closer to the coil, what will happen? AD current will generate due to the uh, electromagnetic field created by the coil okay and this eddy current will again generate another electromagnetic field which is denoted by the yellow shaped lines and the yellow shaped electromagnetic field will obviously oppose the blue shaped electromagnetic field because of Lenz law we all know it will uh, it will oppose the source okay that is Lenz law only so as a result the overall electromagnetic uh, field of the system will decrease and as we know phi is equal to l into i as phi decreases so obviously i also decreases because l is constant and as i decreases the impedance of the uh, system increases because when current decrease we can say impedance increase so basically the impedance offered by the coil will increase which will uh, again, which will be the input for the signal conditioning circuit the increase in impedance value can be measured okay and it can be calibrated in such a way that is uh, from the change in impedance value we can measure the distance of the metallic uh, plate or the sheet from the coil if the distance in between metallic sheet and the coil is lesser then obviously the uh, opposing field uh, the the intensity or the strength of the opposing field that is created by the eddy current will be more so phi will decrease more so j will increase more so basically from the changing value of the change in the z that is change in impedance we can get an idea that how much uh, the metallic sheet or the metallic plate is closer to the coil okay in this way this eddy current sensor can act like a proximity sensor now today in this video we will learn some advantage disadvantage and application of this advantage is simple it is very much sensitive high accuracy value because of the inductance okay so what are the main application inductive proximity sensors are widely used for traffic light control at intersections okay so what is that so uh, this type of sensors are buried in the buried into the road surface okay so what will happen basically uh, all the cars are made up of metals so when the car will go through uh, the road what will happen the sensors are already buried in the road surface buried into the road surface so that will detect the metal of the vehicles so as a result it will work its normal functionality okay so uh, as the cars are made up of metal so that uh, it obviously in metal only eddy current generates eddy current never generates in non-metal so obviously this sensor can be used to detect the metallic cars okay and this is very important application uh, so what will happen when a vehicle uh, as i mentioned when a vehicle is passed over the loop that means uh, when a vehicle is passed over this coil what will happen the uh, impedance of the uh, sensor will change and that will trigger the circuit to change the traffic light clear so you remember the main advantage sorry application of the inductive proximity sensor is in traffic light control okay and some disadvantages first of all the major disadvantage of this sensor is this type of proximity sensor will work only for metallic substance identification. Suppose this plate is non-metallic, then obviously eddy current will not produce, so it will not work in that case, okay. So obviously to identify an object, uh, 
uh, or to uh, get an idea of the closeness of an object by this sensor we the condition must be satisfied that the substance must be metallic okay so this is major disadvantage that is they cannot detect non metallic objects because in non metallic objects eddy current never generates okay and another disadvantage is there suppose the metallic plate is now in downside with respect to the sensor it may be in the in this side or the metallic plate may be in this side or the metallic plate may be in the upper side of the uh, coil but for every case ad current will produce due to the electromagnetic field uh, which is generated due to application of the ac source in the coil so obviously in each place that is upside downside uh, left right anywhere ad current will generate and that will the sensor will detect the presence of the metallic substance that means it will not particularly able to identify that on which place the object is okay so that's what this is omnidirectional okay that meaning they will sense a metallic object above below or to the side of it it will not uh, it is not it cannot be manufactured in such a way suppose it will detect only any metallic plates which is below the uh, sensor it will not work in such a way if some metallic plate or metallic substance is present in the upside or left or right then that uh, that metal also can be detected by this sensor okay this coil suppose we want to detect only the mm, uh, presence of some metallic substance downside of this coil but it cannot be done by this type of proximity sensor because it is omnidirectional okay so the major two disadvantages of these sensors are these sensors are omnidirectional and cannot detect non metallic objects and the application is inductive proximity sensors are widely used in traffic light control okay this is all for my this video i hope the working principle application and disadvantage of the inductive eddy current type proximity sensor is clear to you this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.